Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest and we are here with Aiden and Lamar 4F who have just stumbled upon an elk herd in uh, Stranger Wolf territory and who are about to try and uh, try and do a hunt here so I'm thinking this time they might shoot a little bit bigger they might go for a cow elk or maybe even a spike to try and take it down and let's see if we can get them to run where in Stranger territory are we we're we're pretty deep into the territory, and we're on some pretty, um, pretty strongly colored uh, hexes here. So there's a good chance they're gonna end up in Stranger Wolf confrontation. Honestly, um, I don't think that's what they're thinking about. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they both are pretty. What be a good word for them? They're headstrong and a little bit, a little bit reckless. Uh, yeah, uh, Lamar definitely proved that last episode when she went after um, a bear. Aiden started the fight, and she seemed determined to finish it. But let's let's go for the spike. I'm not sure how much damage he's actually gonna do, but I think it looks like he's not doing a huge amount. We're we're damaging him pretty pretty much, uh, quite a lot here. So let's see. Are you gonna run in and help us here? She might. She looks like she's trying to find an opening. We're, we're staying on his tail. Oh no, she got pushed back. Are did she, is she okay? Oh, he's running. I think Aiden would kind of make sure she's all right. Where'd she go? She's here. She's here. She's here. We're okay. Oh, there we go. The camera wasn't responding for some reason. I think my mouse maybe got off the screen or something. Okay, where'd he go? Where did he go? Spike Elk. Just now. He went this way. He's following it. You can't lay down in the hunt. That's not a good idea. Oh, here he is. Okay. Oh, ow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That hurt. That hurt quite a lot. Okay, he is actually standing his ground now. So, let's see... Let's see if we go different directions. Oh, she's running in, she's running in. Let's do it, let's do this. Let's get him, let's get him. Are you gonna join us? Yes, she is joining us. She did get knocked off, unfortunately, but uh, she did join in to, to help us hunt here. All right, she's kind of waiting for his signal. I think she is a bold wolf, but she does seem to be a bit of a loner. In fact, last episode I was noticing it when um, when they were eating, she kind of pulled away. Oh, we got him, we got him, we got him. We've both got him right now. How's she doing on health? She's still doing pretty good. Oh man, Aiden's got a good bite here. Uh, oh man, she got she got thrown off. Are you all right? I think she's okay. He's gonna make sure she's all right. She's a little little tired, need, needs to catch her breath. Okay, she seems ready to go again. So let's move out. But yeah, she went off by herself to eat and I think that's a little bit of a loner trait. So it might, I think she may be a bit of a loner here. All right, where'd the spike go? If we can find him, is he up here somewhere? Oh, there he is, I see him. He's got the he's got the marker on him. All right, here we go. She's gonna charge in. We'll jump in right with her here. We gotta watch our damage, but I think it's not too high at the moment. He's pretty hurt. We should be able to, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, run, run, run. Okay, how many wolves are there? Is th Wait, is there just one? You know what? Oh man, she's charging right in. Oh, she's gonna get her. Okay, back off, back off. Let's... What? What's gotta go on here? Okay, oh no, he's going after her. Okay, get him, get him, get him. I, Aiden is not gonna settle for this. It might be your territory, but this is our hunt. Let's take this guy out if we can. He's... He's outnumbered. Now the tables have turned. Oh my goodness, uh, I've been saying he, it's actually a she. Uh, if you guys are wondering how you can tell, you can look at the name designation and if it has an F at the end, so you can see we have Lamar 4F and Junction Butte 1F, then uh, that means that it's a female. If it has an M, then it is a male. So that's how you can tell if you happen to run into a stranger wolf. And honestly, I don't like this Stranger Wolves odds too much. Uh, these two are both very confident. Even Lamar ran in before uh, Aiden did, which is pretty insane. So I don't think this this wolf is gonna get uh, 2v1. I, I don't think this wolf is gonna take to getting 2v1 very, very well here. Uh, of course, it's kind of a... Uh, Aiden s might see it as payback just a little bit because... Um, okay, that wolf's on the run. She, she's, she's fleeing, she's fleeing. We're not gonna go for the kill. But uh, we do wanna find that elk herd. Is it somewhere around here? So I hear him, I think. I thought I heard him. Where'd that spike elk go? We, well, yeah, our hunt kind of, um, our hunt kind of went in a different direction. Okay, what's this? Spike elk, where did it go? It ran this way. And then they ran this way. Oh, okay, that's where the herd went. They went right 
over. No, this is getting farther away. Oh, goodness, where did they go? There's so many, so many scent trails here. This is even farther. Oh, there they are. They're up ahead. All right, time to finish this. Time to finish the hunt. Aiden is a little bit more hurt than he was after that stranger wolf fight. But I think they'll actually be in the clear now. It, it's kind of funny. It's kind of payback because these were the wolves that uh, ended up tag teaming Aiden earlier on and hurt, hurt him pretty decently. So it's kind of kind of payback in a way. <laughs> I think he would be a little bit smug about that perhaps. That uh, how the tables have turned. Now he's the one doing the tag teaming with uh, his new potential mate. A lot of you guys seem to really like her too. And holy smokes, have the name suggestions ever been uh, ever? Been pouring in so i do have a name picked out for her if we do end up keeping her as our mate there we go he's hurt all right let's see if we can take him on aiden goes right for the neck oh my goodness another elk ran in and kicked us off Was, did i just see that happen all right let's grab him let's grab him we got him by the back leg and i think lamar is gonna join us yep she joined in a little bit there she is kind of hurt as well but not as much as aiden so i think she'll be safer Aiden's taken some damage, but it's not a horrendous amount. Man, they're just relentless. Look at him go. He's trying to get away, but no, he's going to be wolf dinner today. Almost down. Oh, she's got him by the throat. There's no way. Yep, look at him go. Now they'll get to enjoy the, um, the, the fruits of their labor, the spoils of their victory. And she's going to uh, take quite a bit to eat herself, I bet. She seemed pretty hungry. Aiden can sit down and rest a little. They, oh, yeah, is she? No, she's not. I thought maybe she had, um, had wandered off. Like, sometimes she'll take food and walk away with it. I noticed she had done that in the past. And you can see, too, some of you guys were asking if she had a radio collar. Yes, she does have a radio collar. Wait, what? Oh, there's a fox. Get up, get up, get up. Get out of there. It's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna come for us, but, uh... Yeah, I think he'll come over. He'll make sure she's all right. We'll go to the body emotes. He'll go ahead and lick her face kind of in congratulations here. Because, I mean, they took on a stranger wolf in one. They took out a spike elk. Let's go ahead and we will howl in triumph. We're right in the middle of another Pax territory, but they don't care. He's just going to say, hey, look at me. I did this, we did this, we won. I'm the boss, basically. He's kind of uh, laying claim to this area. He's not going to let these wolves push him around anymore. So we can both howl together here. They're going back and forth. I do like their dynamic. Look at, she's got her confident tail too. Aww. And, uh, you know, honestly, they are in stranger territory. Oh, it's actually... It actually decayed because I think because we're the ones howling here. So I think they're going to they're going to chill out for a bit here and maybe even sleep because Aiden's pretty tired. And I think he'd be pretty content to know, you know, he chased the stranger wolves off. They both well, they both did. And they're not going to bother. They're not, not going to be a problem. He doesn't think right now. They've got some time at least. And he doesn't really want to leave the kill right now. And I, I can imagine Lamar might not want to either because um, oh, who have we got here? Coyotes? Coyotes and foxes. Coyotes are on the run though. They don't want they don't want any of this business. Let's go ahead. Oh no, maybe they aren't. Maybe they aren't. Dude, we chased off a stranger wolf. If you think you will have any trouble taking you out, you are sorely mistaken. Let's let's uh let's get these guys out of here. We're gonna end up harassing these coyotes. Oh, this poor coyote does not stand much chance. His buddies are on the run. I think Aiden would chase him down and give him a last little bite here just to make sure he really has learned his lesson. Uh, he's not necessarily out for, for blood, but you know, he's not about to let them steal his kill. If they mess with him, they mess with his kill, they mess with his potential mate here. They, they're gonna pay for it. He's gonna make sure they know. So she's getting a bite to eat, and then I bet she'll lay down in a minute, too. Oh, nope, she's wandered into the stream. Where are you going, hun? I don't know where she's headed. She's... Oh, she's coming back to shore now. She just wanted to maybe get her feet wet. I'm gonna go ahead... Oh, wait. Who's still here? Who's this? It is a fox. If you don't get out of here... Run. You better run. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you don't get out of here... Oh, look who's back. Look who's back for more. Do you need another reminder of why you why you were not supposed to hang around here? I think you do. 
you need to be reminded of who's the boss around here. <laughs> so we'll go back to the carcass and I think we will settle down. Oh, the fox was, oh, okay, for that, for that you're getting bitten. For that you are getting bitten. Aiden isn't necessarily a wolf that goes out for blood, but he's definitely, he'll, he'll make sure that whoever's over here knows, uh, knows their place and knows his place. He's not, he's not gonna let him push him around. Be it fox or coyote, if you steal his food, you're gonna, you're gonna get a, a nice little nip for it. And, uh, these guys can sleep for a bit. Look at her, she's, like, in the water, oh my goodness. Is that comfortable? I can't imagine it would be. I mean, she's got her head on the shore, but my goodness. Who's here? We got some more foxes. That's a coyote. Get out of here, coyote. She is gonna go back and eat. I don't know, I think that's another fox. Oh, there's more coyotes over there. Oh, man. Get out of here. Do you need a lesson? I think somebody does need to be taught a lesson. Yeah, this coyote, this coyote is gonna get a, a thrashing if he sticks around. These two are not gonna let him off easy. Oh, are they, the other ones are going in for the carcass though. No, you get out of here. Don't you dare steal while, they, we're, while we're here teaching your buddy a lesson. You guys stay out of here. I, hey, he bit me. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you know. You you get out of here. You get out of here. Aiden's not going to tolerate that. These coyotes are smart, but they're certainly no match when it comes to strength. Aiden is going to make sure that they are well aware that uh, he's in charge here and that they would do well not to mess with him. Who is that? Is that a fox? That was a fox. It's too dark to see where it went, though. It is pretty late at night. Are you okay over here? You're not stuck, are you? She's okay. But let's let's lay down, I think, and um, we will uh, we'll settle in for the night. Oh, wait a minute, stranger wolf territory. Are you telling me that they're back? Maybe we best not sleep. Although we will take on this uh, coyote here. Maybe it's not too wise to sleep because this has been reclaimed by the stranger wolves, which might mean that some of them are getting a little bit closer, or it might just it might just be going up naturally. Actually, where is the carcass? It's right over. Here. <gasps> Who is here? No, get out of here! It's a fox. All right, I think that's enough. Uh, that's enough punishment for now. You, you can. What is? Oh, it's a raven. Oh no, y'all! The slidey ravens. They're back. Okay, give me a second here. Give me a second. <laughs> Thankfully, that's not a particularly bad uh, bug. It's just kind of a kind of one that doesn't really um doesn't really add to the aesthetic of it all. I'm gonna let Aiden sleep though. He'll take that risk. He is kind of a punk like that. He's not too not too intimidated. But I think these guys will get up and move out. There is a coyote here, though. I think they are going to get up and move out here in the morning, though. Try to kind of make their way in a different direction. Not because they're, um, not because they're scared, but just because, you know, they've hunted. They've spent some time laying around, staying full by eating this carcass, but it is kind of half depleted now. And, uh, I think they're just going to kind of be meandering on their own way. Oh, yeah, see, look, she grabbed a little chunk of meat and she's going to go off there to eat it. That's why I think she might be a bit of a loner. But that's totally fine. I mean, Aiden can be a little bit of a loner himself, so I think they both appreciate their space. Look at her guarding that food chunk. But let's go ahead. We will uh, make our way out of here, I think. We're just going to give a nice, nice little tail wag as we kind of exit the territory. And maybe we'll wander into the Wapiti territory. Yeah, they're not, they're not too keen on claiming this place. Get a little bit to drink here on the way out. And, uh, is she gonna get a drink too? Doesn't look like it. But we'll keep moving here. And just kind of meander out of the territory. Thankfully no bears this time, because that was almost a bad situation. But yeah, for as fun as it's been to boss the stranger wolves around, Aiden is pretty hurt, and so it kind of behoove us to get him out of the territory and let him heal up. He's about halfway down, and if he's going to want to hunt again, which I think these guys should just to make sure... I mean, the two hunts they've had have gone very, very well, and they definitely have proven that they do know how to work very well together. But I think doing one final hunt might be a good 
idea just to kind of make extra extra sure and maybe what we'll do this time is we'll go after a calf because even though these guys have been able to take down a mule deer and a spike elk going after the calf with the mother chasing you that's a whole nother ball game and uh, it can be a little bit of its uh its own challenge so it would be it'd be a good idea for them to make sure that they're capable of uh of dealing with that as well. They're almost out of the territory. We'll probably have them head into the burn area here. This is the old burn, by the way, the area that had all those dead trees in the old map. You can still see some of them standing and a lot more on the ground. It's kind of decaying, but uh, this is the burn and all those little trees that uh, were starting to grow up are a lot bigger. They're, they're not so little anymore, that's for sure. And uh, they are, uh, they're definitely growing quite a lot and uh, really turning this back into a normal woods again. So it's amazing to see how the ecosystem has developed since, um, since the earlier games and how that's been reflected in the, in the game as well. Of course, the wolf packs we have are quite different as well. Instead of Druid, Slough, and Specimen Ridge, we now have Wapiti, uh, Lamar, Can or Lamar Canyon, is it? Lamar Canyon and Junction Butte, yeah. So we've got, we've got some different packs here. And uh, it's just interesting to see how the ecosystem of Yellowstone, because the game is ba heavily based off of the real ecosystem in Yellowstone at the current time of its production, and it was even then. It's just interesting to see how it's shifted somewhat and how that's been reflected in the game. But I think, you know, we'll go ahead, we'll find some place here to settle down amongst the trees and sleep for a little bit. And kind of kind of rest through the uh, rest of the day and the night here, kind of heal up. And oh, look at look at them curled up here right next to each other. That's so cute. But we'll get let them get a bit of a, a rest here, and then I think in a little bit we'll actually send them out. Probably at dawn, we'll have them go check around and see if they can happen to find another elk herd and do one final hunt. Everything okay? I think everything's fine. Let's go ahead. We'll we'll sleep, and she'll sleep as well. It looks like. So, oh, and it's snowing, you guys. It's actually snowing. Oh, and it looks like it's snowing quite a lot, too. Oh, it just was for a little bit, but it definitely is getting later in the year. I mean, the game starts out in the fall, but it's got to be drawing nearer to winter by now, if not even in the start of it. So let's sleep a little bit longer, and we'll when it gets to be a little bit lighter out, which shouldn't be too much longer, then... Um, We'll go ahead and uh, try to find another elk herd. So right here, this is about perfect. The dawn is just starting to come. There's actually, is that a moose carcass that I smell? A moose calf carcass. That's an interestingly specific thing. Oh, and it looks like the stranger wolves might have claimed that carcass. There's a few of them around. But uh, let's head up here. I hear the elk bugling at, uh, at dawn. And I think we're going to actually go ahead and sniff around up here, try to see what we might be able to find. Oftentimes the elk herds do come out into the open in the late hours of the day and the early hours of the day. They do tend to be more in the open than they are at uh, or during the full daylight. Then they're more in the trees and it's harder to hunt. But I do hear them bugling from somewhere around here. I don't know if that indicates the location of a specific herd or if it's just something kind of distant. But we can at least maybe bring these guys up here. Oh, there's... You know, this isn't really what we went... Well, I mean, we've already hunted a mule deer, though. Do we really want to do it again? Yeah, okay. <laughs> they're, they're asking for it. Is this... This is a doe mule deer, so that's not quite the same situation. Man, look at them go here. All right, Aiden, maybe you can try to flank it and grab it from the side. Yep, and she's coming in from the rear. They're actually doing a pretty good job. She did get shaken off, but Aiden still has his grip. She's coming in for another bite, though. Look at her go. They're just they're just wailing on this deer. Oh my goodness. They are they're they're a tough team. That is for sure. Aiden has not been shaken off yet. He's really got a good grip. Oh, there we go. He finally did get kicked off, but uh, she's still going. She's still got uh, uh, she still got quite a grip. She did fall back when he was a little bit slow due to lack of stamina, but he's about ready to run in and uh, hopefully grab it one last time and uh, 
be enough for her to run in and get uh, help with the final bite here. And there we go. We got it. We did take it down. So we'll leave them to rest here. Neither one of them is particularly injured either. They both took some damage, but it seems a little bit, it seems fairly evenly split. So they both certainly are pulling their weight. And it's snowing at dawn here. Look at this. It's so pretty. Let's sit down and maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll howl a little bit in the snow here. There's another mule deer over there by the looks of it. I think it knows it's safe though because we did just, uh, we did just hunt already. And they're getting a little snowy too. Oh, look at this, you guys. That's so sweet. And they both really enjoyed it. Their affinity bar is definitely rising. They are growing quite close to each other. You know, let's, maybe for the early hours, let's just wander up here and watch the sunrise. We'll come back to the carcass in a little bit, and maybe this is where we'll end off the episode. They are getting quite a bit closer together, and uh, I think they, a lot of you guys have really liked Lamar as a potential mate. I really like Lamar as a potential mate, and it does seem like she's getting on fabulously with Aiden as well. So let's come out here. I guess the, it's not quite just dawn anymore. The sun's a little bit up, but look at that, you guys. Look at this. It's such a scenic view. Look down, look down at the, through the snow at the valley below. Uh, I really, really like the scenery in this game, you guys. It is just so pretty. But let's, let's sit down right here. Oh, don't fall. We're gonna sit down here. Maybe we'll howl again. And we'll let them kind of watch the, uh, watch the snowy sunrise together. And then next episode, we'll try to have them do one more hunt together, I think. And um, then we'll, we'll have them make their final decision and uh, potentially end up taking Lamar 4 as our mate uh, or not. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what they decide. But for now, we're going to go ahead and end off this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.